This is the David Lloyd Tennis School at Intusport.com. In this guide, we'll introduce you to the technique of returning the serve. It's an important skill to develop because no matter how good your serve is, you have to be able to win games when your opponent is serving if you're going to win matches. The return of serve has to be hit after the ball has bounced, so it will always either be a forehand or a backhand that you use, and the grip will be the same as you use for your forehand or backhand. You won't have much time to decide which shot to play because the serve is usually quite fast, especially the first serve. You need to be in the best position possible, so let's start with where to stand on court. For the first serve, you should be on or just behind the baseline, but then move slightly further forwards for the second serve. If you slightly change your receiving position, then you won't give the server a target. You could try standing further back and then moving forward as the serve throws the ball up. Watch for signs of what sort of serve is coming. Usually the first serve is hit hard and deep and you just have to deal with it. But for a second serve, your opponent may change the ball throw. Out to the side means expect a slice serve, while a ball placed further back means a topspin serve. Some servers also change their position on the baseline according to the serve they're going to hit. For example, if your opponent moves further away from the centre, expect a slice serve. Although the server has the advantage, most players give clues away, so watch where they stand and where they throw the ball. Also, remember that most players have favourite serves too, so learn to watch for those carefully. It's important to be alert and in the right position. Your feet should be about a shoulder's width apart with your knees bent and your weight on the balls of your feet, especially for a first serve when the ball flies very quickly. Hold the racket in front of you so that you can move it quickly to either a forehand or a backhand and keep your grip loose and flexible. Now let's look at contact with the ball. As soon as you know which side the ball is coming, adjust your grip to the right one for that stroke and turn your shoulders away from the ball taking the racket back quickly. You may not have time to take the racket in a full swing, sometimes the back swing will be very short. Then move the racket and your weight forwards into the shot. If the serve is very fast, you may not be able to move into the ball, but keep your knees bent to maintain your balance. The forward swing of your racket should be from low to high to get the ball over the net. Aim to contact the ball to the side and in front of the body at about waist height. The racket should then be extended in the direction of the ball before finishing across the body. Sometimes it can be difficult to get into the right position, but do try to contact the ball to the side and in front at about waist height. As you play more and improve your anticipation and technique, you'll find it easier to return the serve. Your first objective is to get the ball back over the net and into the court, so a return back across court is probably the best shot. After that, try to direct your shot somewhere that will make the server's chance of returning more difficult. For example, down the line, cross court with a heavy angle, or so that it bounces near the server's feet. Once you've returned the ball, move quickly to get to a good position near the center of the baseline, in preparation for the server returning the ball. So that's technique for returning serve. Let's recap. The return of serve gives you very little time to think, so make sure you start in the best position to hit the ball. Start in a ready position and decide as quickly as you can which side the serve will land. Turn your shoulders to take the racket back and if possible have a full swing of the racket, just like a normal forehand and backhand. Contact the ball to the side and slightly in front of you and then continue the follow through of the racket after the ball before bringing the racket across your body. Initially, concentrate on getting your return over the net and in court, and then progress to directing your returns so that the server finds it difficult to attack your return. Do this by hitting your return down the line with a heavy cross-court angle or by aiming for the return to bounce at the server's feet. Move quickly towards the center of the baseline in a ready position so you're ready for the next shot. So now that you have return of serve covered, be sure to check out all the other useful video guides, playing tips and fitness advice at intosport.com. Intosport.com, the home of world-class sports coaching online.